Hello, I'm Steven. And I'm Sarah. And we'd like to show you some ways to make your office more sustainable. Before we talk about your office suite, let's talk about how you travel to work. Do you drive, take transit, or bike? A great way to encourage employees to use mass transportation is through the use of transit subsidies. You can provide employees with a direct transit subsidy to their transit card, like we do at NCPC with our smart trip cards, or allow them to contribute money pre-tax to their transit cards. If you'd like to bike to work, does your organization offer a safe and convenient location to store your bike? And is there a facility where you can shower? Now that you're at the office, how do you get to off-site meetings? At NCPC, we provide several options. Metro cards are available for using subways and buses. The agency owns two bicycles, and we've recently instituted a pilot program where employees can utilize Zipcar for times that walking, biking, or taking mass transit aren't a viable option. Many of us recycle, but there's always room for improvement. Many of us commonly recycle cans, bottles, and paper. But did you also know you can recycle various types of cardboard? For example, microwave dinner boxes and paper towel tubes are also recyclable. In addition, numerous types of plastics can also be recycled, including plastic bags, wrappers, yogurt cups, containers, and plastic food trays. A friendly reminder, please wash off any food particles before placing an item in the recycle bin. Unfortunately, paper products with food on them, such as pizza boxes, can't be recycled. It helps to locate recycle bins in offices, near copy machines, and in common rooms or kitchens. Another way to make an office more sustainable is through decreased energy consumption. At NCPC, all of our computers, printers, phones, and other electrical equipment are Energy Star rated. As our computer servers become more efficient, we're decreasing the number in our tech room. We also encourage our employees to turn off the lights when leaving for a meeting and when heading home at the end of the day. Think that the temperature in a thermostat doesn't matter? Think again. Every one degree adjusted on the thermostat either decreases or increases energy used by 3%. So make sure to adjust your thermostats accordingly when you leave at the end of the day, before weekends, and prior to leaving on vacations. During the summer, ideal temperatures range from 75 to 78 degrees, and during the winter, from 65 to 68 degrees.